I saw a story, and I know a lot of you did, in, uh, well, it was on social media, and it was on Facebook, and it was on Google, and Bing, and all the flipping rest of them. This chap, his name's Tony Montrose. Now, he comes from Seattle, in America, and he was a childhood friend of Kurt Cobain. Are you with me? Well, he went uh, off and had an accident on the freeway, the motorway we call it, on the freeway, and he says he had a near-death experience. Yes, it's not just me who has these things. And he spoke to his childhood friend, Kurt Cobain, up in, talking to Nirvana, in Nirvana itself, heaven, the other side. And Tony said that his one regret, having seen the other side, he was brought back to life by the paramedics, good on them, but his one regret was he didn't get a chance to just double-check that Kurt Cobain was happy, happy in eternity. He said he saw him, he saw his childhood friend, but he was dragged back before he had a chance to speak to him. That's about the top and bottom of it, isn't it, Tony, out there in Seattle? Yes, hello, uh, Clinton. This yes, is, this hello, is Tony. Hello, Tony. I was just explaining. Hello, slight delay. I was just explaining that yes. you. Yeah, I was just explaining that you needed somebody to go out yes. there. Yeah, I was, can you hear me? Yes. Right. I was just explaining that you needed somebody to go out there, and you were offering five hundred dollars. That's correct. I, I was. I was. Uh, I was offering five hundred dollars, yeah. having having come back from the afterlife. That, I suppose you'd you'd call it, right? And having met Kurt in Kurt? the afterlife, yeah. Um, I didn't get a chance to ask him if he was well, content yeah. or happy yeah. with uh, with with where he found himself in in the afterlife, and it's a huge regret that I have. Yes, of course. And so I. In, I put a um, just a message out on social media yeah. on uh, Facebook and Twitter, yeah. and in some local newspapers. Yeah, I've sort of Seattle. said all this bit. Okay. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Hello, Clinton. Can you hear me? Clinton? Yeah. Sorry. Hello. Hello, Clinton. Can you hear me, Clinton? Oh, this is Tony. I had an easier time getting in touch with the afterlife than. <laughs> No, yeah. If I could just pick it up quickly, cause it's quite a long time. I was just explaining what what yes. happened. Have you got that? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. And so you were just to so cut you to, yes yeah just to cut cut to what happened. I okay, volunteered. So you, that's I, correct. I volunteered my services. Well, I offered to, hundred dollars. Yes, five hundred dollars. Somebody, somebody. Yeah, who we're both contact. speaking the same time, Tony. Right. Would you like to go I, first? Yes, I will. Thank you. So okay. you offered five hundred dollars, and I took up the challenge to visit the afterlife, That's speak correct. to Kurt Cobain. That is correct. To to ask him if he was fine. Now, the That's one correct. proviso was what was it? Tell me how did I how did I have to prove that I had spoken to him? Well, if you had spoken to Kurt in the afterlife, yeah. If you asked him what he called me when we were at school together as children, then that would be proof enough for me to trust you that you'd actually spoken to Kurt Cobain in the afterlife. Right. Very I, simple. I'm here to tell you something. It's my... called proof of, proof of life. Of course, yeah. in this case, it would be proof of death. Right. Or proof okay. of afterlife. Yes. But it I, would be yeah. proof. Proof. Yes. Proof is what? What I need. Yes, we understand. Yeah, we established that. Now, okay. I am here to tell you, Tony, that I made contact with Kirk Cobain. Well, this is this is encouraging. Yes, um, I saw the afterlife. Sorry. Very encouraging news, Clinton. Yes, I saw the afterlife. First of all, oh. how would you describe that? Well. Going into the afterlife for me was very much like slow motion. So everything yeah. slows down. Wasn't it? Yeah. And for, for me, I was in a traffic accident Yes. On, on the freeway. And first of all, as soon as the the impact occurred, I was lifted out of my body. body. And I floated yeah. above my body. Yes. And then I was whisked away mm. um, in what seemed to me to be slow motion. Yeah towards a very bright light. I know it sounds like a cliche and it's something you hear people say often, yeah. but it is actually 
In my experience, I found it to be true. It was a very uh, bright light. Yeah. And, and then as you head towards this bright light, you right. enter a tunnel. Yeah, tunnel. Yeah. This is all rings and true. This is also how I levitate myself. As you say, very slow motion. What was your experience of going into Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just telling you what that is. Uh, okay. I, I, too, feel lifted, mm-hmm. elevated, very okay. slow motion, bright light, tunnel, a kaleidoscope of colours. Did you have a kaleidoscope of colours? No. Not I so didn't. much, no. No, no. I didn't have a kaleidoscope of colours. No, but that I had what I can only describe as uh, surrounded by butterflies. Yes, I did too. You had butterflies? Yes. All all different colours, were they? No. No? What colour no. were they that you had? Red. Yeah, they're all sort of different colours for different people. Look, anyway, the point is, eventually you land in... Well, you don't really land no, anywhere. You, no, you don't, do you? You're sort of floating, levitating, mm. That's and... the beauty. You become um, omnipotent. Omnipotent. And yeah. that is when... So I, you can see everything all at once. All at that once. That my experience. Exactly. The past, mm. the future, the present. No, no, no I mean no. geographically. Geographically. I mean geographically. That's what I mean. And it was then that I saw Kurt Cobain. I see. And, and he, I can tell you, as an old childhood friend, he is fine. He is happy. He likes his rock and roll still. He's playing all the hits. Um, well, that's 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 encouraging to hear. Clinton. Yes. The only thing I would ask. Yes. Um, I obviously uh, need the proof that you spoke to Kurt Cobain, and we know how how uh, how that how that will present itself. The name. The name. His childhood name, name for you. Yes. That's correct. Tone, tone, t- it's very hard to hear because it's very noisy with the butterflies and that. Tone, Silent tone, butterfly. tone, tone, he called, tone, no, that's, eh? that's, no, that's, that's not correct. Well, he was calling you that to me. Well, Tony Montrose, is it Monty, either. Monty, he said, he said it's something no. like Mon. Tony Mont. No. Rosie. No. Anthony, is it a longer version of? No. It was very hard to hear, I've got to tell you. Okay. Mont- it wasn't Mon- Montrose. No. Tony Tones. No. Tony O. No. Antonio. Yeah. Not correct. But, it, I mean, so, the, well, <laughs> I did make contact with him, uh, hmm. but I couldn't always but hear. Had you have, had you have made contact with him, you would have uh, acquired um, the proof yeah. that I need. Okay. I did get a T-shirt I brought back, the Nirvana one. $300, $300 for that one, just maybe, and without From the name. From Eternity. Huh? They, sell, they sell Nirvana T-shirts in Eternity. Well, he gave me one, and I took in the key ring, 350 350 what? Dollars. For what? The key ring and the T-shirt. And what he said he, he's fat, he and the knowledge that he's fat. That? Hey? He made you pay for that? No, it's all free up there. Anyway, look, it doesn't matter if you're not if you're not going to prepare to. I can send what? it to you. Oh, you got the T-shirt and the keyring for yes. me. Yes, yes, I have. From him? Yes, indeed. Well, no, I don't. I'm not interested right. in that. I, I, I don't. I don't need it. <clears throat> well, he is in good spirits. I'm happy to say, and we'll just forget it. And you go along your way, and he wants you to know. Good luck to your wife and family. I don't have a wife or family. I'm no. gay. Well, your family, he said. It was, as I said, it's hard to hear. And he says, good luck. And thank you, Tony. Best of luck with everything. And it's nice. And the money's nothing. That cheapens the experience, really. So let's say, well done, Tony. Good luck in life. And he's, he's watching after you. I've just been diagnosed with terminal cancer. He says everything's going to be all right, but I'm going to leave it there. So best of luck to you and thank you. And if there's anyone else who would like me to visit any friends, relatives, don't have to be for financial pecuniary. Just let me know and we'll get on with it. Thank you. (laughs) 